Alright, this is Jeffrey Farnsworth. We are about to do the paper plates airplane test flight. As you just saw, I have a tape measure extended 16 feet. The bare minimum to fly is 12. Now, let me show you my plane. Here we are. This plane is comprised of two paper plates, some tape, and one penny. Now, main features of this plane. The wing, which in a real plane provides a lift. The horizontal stabilizer, which helps control pitch. Unfortunately, we are missing the elevators, which are the actual control surface. However, that won't be a problem for this flight. The vertical stabilizer. This helps control the yaw. Again, unfortunately, we are missing the rudder, which is the control surface. However, again, that won't be a problem. This is our fuselage, better known as simply the body of the plane, and the cockpits would be situated right about here. We have with us Abraham Lincoln, providing nose-heavy configuration. This is good because if you're in a tail-heavy configuration, you would stall and fall out of the air. Now the wing, features the ailerons. This one is a down position, this one is an up position. Now in a real airplane, gyroscopic precession generated by the engines, the propeller, the turbine, whatever, wants to cause the plane to roll to the left. This is called the left turning tendency. On my plane, the right aileron is angled upwards and the left aileron downwards. This counteracts that left turning tendency, which for some reason my plane seems to exhibit. Now, without further ado, let's fly this. may have lost sight of that, but the plane bounced off the ottoman and landed right here. Tape measure ends right here, a little bit before the ottoman. So, I definitely cleared 12, and I certainly cleared 16. Thanks for watching.